Mr. Deputy Speaker, many of my Salisbury constituents have expressed concerns that the increased numbers of reservists used to mitigate the impact of today's cuts will not prevent a loss of capability. Yeah, yeah. Could the Secretary of State yeah, yeah. reiterate why he is confident that there will not be an emerging capability gap as a result of today's enactment? Yeah, yeah. Because the Chief of the General Staff and the team that have been carrying out this work have presented me with a plan for the future Army which they tell me will be able to deliver the output requirements of the Strategic Defence and Security Review. And I have confidence in their professionalism.